Have you ever wanted to turn your photos into a shot from a Pixar or Disney 3D cartoon? In this video, I'll show you three image generators where you can stylize your photos. Each of them has little bit different styles and additional features. Two of them have free limited plans, and the third one is completely free and unlimited now. First tool is Luminor AI. Create free account. Then click Generate here or here. Upload your image. There is only one model, I won't change aspect ratio, and style should be 3D cartoon. CFG scale value controls the correspondence between input, which means your image and prompt, and generated images. Prompt and negative prompt are just to be sure that the elements from the original image will appear in the generated ones. But before generating image, you have to confirm your email. Click here to send confirmation link and check your email. After confirming email, you'll be able to generate images. All the images are pretty similar to each other, especially faces, and all the main details from the original image are here. There is no significant difference if I use higher CFG scale values as you can see. Initially, I had 100 free credits, and after creating 8 images, I have 84 credits on my account. On the free account, you have 100 credits monthly, which means 50 free images. Next tool is Leonardo AI. Here you have 150 credits daily, which allows you to create at least few dozens of images every day. Add your image. Choose image to image option. Upload it from your device. I previously uploaded this image, so it is saved in my upload section. I'll set image strength around 0.5. I use prompt in the same way as in Luminor AI. And what is the most important, choose the right model. Phoenix 1.0 or 0.9 are good for our goal. I'll disable prompt enhance, so my prompt will be processed as is. Style should be 3D render. Set contrast value value as you want, image aspect ratio and resolution. In advanced settings, you can add negative prompt. I'll try to exclude realistic looking results. Here are the results. Everything is good, but eyes are a little bit creepy. And now I'll show you why you shouldn't set too high strength value. As soon as my original image is realistic photo, so the generated images are realistic too. In this case, because of high strength value, I'll add another image. It will be the same image I used in previous generator. Strength will be near 0.5 and prompt will be adapted to the current image. Girl on the generated images looks younger than on the original picture, but this can be fixed by adding extra details to the prompt. And now, you'll see what will happen if the strength value will be low. You can see that characters look very cartoonish, but this time they have only very basic elements of the original image, and three of them even have some kind of helmet, which wasn't mentioned in the prompt and didn't appear on the uploaded image. And third image generator is Piclamen. You may have already seen it in my other videos. On the first glance, there is no image to image option similar to previous tools where you can specify the style of the generated images. But I accidentally found the way how to do this. First of all, you have to upload your image here. Click on the uploaded image. Open the list of additional features. Very option isn't what we are looking for because it doesn't allow you to influence the generated images. But now look at colorize option. Initially, it was made for colorizing line art according to its description. But look what will happen if I describe the style I want to get in the prompt area. You can only generate one image at once in this mode. For some reason, generated images can be a little bit stretched vertically or horizontally, and this image still looks too realistic. So I'll make second attempt with a different prompt. I didn't mention the color of the clothing this time, so the structure is right, but color doesn't match original image. But you can edit generated image with in painting option. Just brush over the area you want to change and enter your prompt. I'll try to change these clothes with white t-shirt. Okay, the color of t-shirt isn't purely white, and I'm going to add another reference image. This time I want to make this girl look like game character. I won't specify the spacesuit color so it will be random. Not bad, it really looks like 3D render. And finally I'll make her look like game character, but also I'll add clothing and hair description. Girl's face could be a little bit less realistic, but other elements match my prompt. Of course, you can also experiment with other styles. All the generations in Piclamen are free. The only limitation is that generations will become slower after reaching daily limit of fast generations, but not dramatically. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.